Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Trish Delish. Today, we are making two different flavored sponge cake rolls and filling them with sweet buttercream. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. If you're ready, let's get started. We'll start by separating the egg whites from the yolk. We'll whisk our eggs until they're frothy, and then add some cream of tartar and sugar to make a meringue. As usual, all the ingredients and recipe will be down below in the description box. While you are whisking your meringue, go ahead and beat your egg yolks. Slowly add your sugar to the side of the bowl to prevent it from flying out of your mixer. Now that your meringue has formed, you're going to add in your whisked eggs. Add the vanilla and continue to whip until it's light and fluffy. Sift in your cake flour on top of the egg mixture and fold in gently. You don't want to deflate the egg whites that you've just made into meringue. Now that our flour is mixed in, we're going to pour it into a 15 by 10 inch jelly roll pan lined with parchment paper. And to get your parchment paper to stick, I just take a little bit of batter on my fingers, dot it in the four corners, and set my paper down. Pour the batter into the pan, smooth out the top, and bake in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 13 minutes or until a toothpick inserted to the center comes out clean. You're gonna gently tap your cake so that some of the big air pockets can be released. going to loosen the edges of the cake. I have my cake on a cooling rack and we are going to take some powdered sugar and really coat the top of this cake. Now we are going to cover this with a clean kitchen cloth. pan over it and flip the whole thing over. And hopefully with that parchment paper, the cake will come right out of the pan. Go ahead and remove the parchment paper. And now we're actually going to roll it up. And this is so when it cools, it will cool in the jelly roll shape. And when you set it down, you want that seam on the bottom of the roll. You'll let that cool completely before we frost. The second cake will be flavored with cooled off espresso instead of vanilla. After adding the espresso, all the steps will be the same moving forward. So we'll sift in our cake flour and gently fold it in. Pour it into a parchment lined jelly roll tray and bake for 13 minutes. Uh, when it's cooked, cover with powdered sugar and roll it up with your towel. Allow the cake to fully cool in this roll towel with the seam side on the bottom. This buttercream is going to be your favorite buttercream because it only has two ingredients. We'll start with one pound of butter, cream that, and then beat in one can of sweetened condensed milk. Doesn't necessarily have to be fat free, but that's what I happen to pick up at the grocery store today. Start by popping all of our butter into our mixer. Now that the 
butter is creamed, we'll just add the condensed milk and keep beating them together. One thing you need to note is that this condensed milk has been in the fridge for a few hours to make sure that it is nice and cold. It took about eight minutes for the butter to be creamed with the condensed milk. About halfway through, it appears that the butter and condensed milk separate into two, but just keep on mixing and it will fully cream into your frosting. So we're actually going to divide this in two only for this particular time since we're making two flavored um, Swiss rolls. I'm actually going to split this in two and flavor half of it with coffee. We're going to just go ahead and put a little bit more of that cooled off espresso in here. I didn't split the buttercream so well, so I did actually have a lot of extra coffee buttercream. So I made another vanilla sponge cake and frosted it with the coffee cream, which you'll see on my final tray for presentation. You can also save any extra buttercream by freezing it. So our rolls are completely cold. Take a look at them here. Awesome. So I'm just gonna fill this with a thin layer of buttercream and I'm actually gonna do it straight on this cloth. And now we roll it back up. And you can use the cloth to help you roll it back up if you need. To make the top pretty again, you can just dust more powdered sugar. Trim off both ends of your jelly roll before placing it on your serving platter. These ends make perfect scraps for you to taste test before serving to your guests. And we'll repeat with the coffee cake, um, but instead of dusting with powdered sugar, we're going to dust it with a tiny hint of just cocoa powder. Out of these two flavored cakes, I think my favorite is the coffee flavored cake. You can actually make a true jelly roll cake if you use the vanilla sponge cake recipe and fill it with your favorite jam or preserves. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite filling is for this jelly roll. Thanks for joining me today while we made these Fiononno rolls. I hope you enjoyed the recipe and share this video with your family and friends. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.